Hi guys, welcome to this channel. Is a uh, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the Next Creation. If it's your first time, please consider subscribing and supporting this channel. In today's video, we uh, I was asked a question about the Vist visa and what what you call the new health insurance. Yes, speaking rightly speaking, there is a new health insurance that is going to come into effect that is going to 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 cater for all workers in Qatar. Remember, for your company to recruit to, it will have to insure you. It will have to insure you with an insurance company or to have to insure what we call your health. That is according to the latest updates that we have, we have with what you call the latest uh, insurance uh, policy that is coming into effect already. It's being drafted. It is gazetted by the cabinet and we're only waiting for that. And what does it mean to these visas for people who would uh, afford what you call these visas? And that's what, what we have to know and what is the latest in, uh, information is that uh, regarding I give you a recap that some of the some countries some of the uh, for example some of the countries remember before we looked at the video where by some kind of companies we look at companies some countries like India we look at countries like um, Pakistani we look at countries like uh, where they needed to have what you call uh, uh, they needed to have hotel requirement booking before they can have what you call on visa on arrival. There are some countries that have visa waiver with with the different countries. They can access visas on arrival, and there are some countries that need to apply for that visa to be approved because your country does not have a waiver, a visa waiver with that country. So what you, what does it mean for people who can uh, get uh, visas on arrival? Meaning that you can have what you call. Um, uh, visa on arrival, you can have this uh, visa, you can be invited by a friend, you can be invited by a family member, and you can still come in because you can access the visas on arrival. I'm meaning for those countries that can access those visas on arrival. But again, let us look at the new insurance policy and what we call the VIS visa. Remember when we are talking about this VIS visa, it's the new insurance policy that is going to come into our accordance. Meaning that even if when you're coming to a visit, you must have you must have paid one of the requirements is that you must have paid what you called and health insurance that is for emergencies and accident that you must have insured yourself right where are things getting worse from remember we had we had covid covid uh, the covid pandemic whereby um, there was a distract in what we call the healthy sector so uh, for every country is seeing a situation whereby it needs to protect its citizens and take care of its citizens so meaning that it has to make each country has to make sure that every person that is coming into the every person that is coming into this country he must be uh, well prepared to take care of himself not to fall on the burden of what you call the healthy care system so you must have first ensure yourself that is why the new healthy uh, care system is coming in for the side of for the side of the workers all people working in Qatar it is it is mandatory by the government or by your employer to ensure your life for you to access what you call the free medical services from what we call the government hospitals at that time and those insurance companies that will be uh, will be approved to carry out that side. And what does it mean to for, for people who are coming to the VC visas? Remember, now the VC visa will come a little bit. If you've been having that opportunity that they can be invited and have it, then it will become a little bit very harder for you because now you need to pass pay up insurance. So imagine a situation whereby you will not have that money. What are you going to do? And there's an opportunity for you. You're going to miss out the opportunity. You are for those people that are going to invite their families. They will still need what we call unhealth insurance being paid or unhealth insuring, uh, being insured with a copy of the receipt, such that they can access the visa or they can be granted access into the country. Those are the latest developments that we have. So, meaning that you, as a job seeker, or you, or as a person coming with an opportunity at your hand, what is the only solution that you are left for you or are left on your table for you to get this good job? It's the only option that is left on your table to get this this good job is using what we call the manpower company, and some of the manpower companies definitely from your countries of origin where you're coming from some of them charge extraordinary too much sums of money but there's no option because remember we are looking at work visas and we are being sponsored by someone and when you look at the visa visa it may be a little bit very hard because very expensive because you need to pay up what you call the health insurance for yourself the insurance scheme it needs that for you to access a visa or for you to be given a visa you need to pay that uh, health insurance it must be one of the requirements to pay them for you so it becomes meaning that the visa visas the family visas the visa visas in Qatar will come a little bit very expensive which many people will not be afford 
if you definitely don't have money. So you only be left with an option of coming with what we call the work visas. The work visas, you come under what you call a company or individual sponsorship. Then after a given period, after finishing up your contract, you can contrary uh, move and go to another company. I think that is that is what is supposed to be at that stage. And um, so the only option is left and that's the only way that you will have. So people be very prepared. If you're planning to come as a Levis visa in Qatar, then definitely you must be prepared that it's going to be a little bit very expensive and you might find yourself that you're only left with that option and um, to go to come with a company or to come uh, by what you call recruitment mark, uh, manpower companies and remember uh, remember that under the recruitment companies you will not have to pay up the third insurance or uh, what you call the health insurance it will be mandatory it will only be the employer who is recruiting you to pay up that for you your own role is to come in the country take the medical if you are medically fit then probably you can take off and uh, and definitely uh, definitely you can start up the work because he has to clear everything for you hope i've tried to share up something uh, remember when you look at in qatar jobs in qatar you can come in and do very many things at a time uh, you can try to do a lot of things uh, in qatar for this time and uh, because qatar is not yet strict at one way or the other and uh, definitely this is still a land of opportunities in by the way compared to other gulf countries which are a little bit very strict with the requirements and the documents that you're supposed to have uh, at a time thank you so much see you again in the next video this makes for the next creation day